on a 2011 Honda CRV. We'll be installing part number 118427 T1 connector by Tow Ready. Let's go ahead and open up our hatch. First thing we're gonna do is make sure everything's out of your way. Then we're gonna remove the spare tire cover. Get it out of our way. We're gonna go ahead and remove some mounting bolts and some trim hardware so we can gain access to the right rear quarter panel the vehicle where we're gonna connect our wiring harness. Pop rivets can be difficult, but the good news is you can gain access from underneath to be able to pop it right out. Pop your rear trim panel loose, set it to the side. We're gonna pop the rear quarter panel loose now. You'll see now that we've got the panel out of our way, we've located the white plug, which is the trailer wiring harness. I'm gonna remove the tape and go ahead and make our connection now. We'll take the white plug in of our new trailer wiring harness, press firmly between the two connections and snap them together. I'm gonna go ahead and mount my ground here into the sheet metal. You just want to make sure you're free and clear of any wires. You don't want to cut, pinch, or crimp anything. And for ease installation, I'm using a self-threading screw. There. Now that our ground wire is tight, we can mount our new module. You'll see on the back side of the module, there's underneath a clear plastic coating is an adhesive. We're gonna locate a good place on the sheet metal to mount our new module. You'll see we have plenty of room underneath here of a nice flat surface, clean and free of any debris. I can go ahead and peel back, exposing my adhesive, keeping all my wires out of the way. I'm gonna mount my module, pressing firmly so I make a good adhesive connection. I'm gonna tuck my excess wire back here into the fender well so that it's out of the way. Before we reinstall our trim panel, we're gonna pull out our new four pole lead because we made all our connections. So now that we have our lead out to where it's gonna be usable, we can reinstall our trim panel. We're just gonna wanna walk it back into place as we removed it earlier. Okay, we got one tab to put back in on our rear trim panel. Now that we've completed the reinstallation of the driver's side rear trim panel, we can do the trim panel that goes across the back. I'm gonna snap that back into place. I like to make sure all my weather stripping is proper. Now we're gonna put our little push button pieces back in. Push that back in, and you push the center back together. It gives it a wedge effect. We're gonna reinstall our hold down loops. Now that we've got our trim panel back in place and resecured, we can reinstall our spare tire cover. Now that we've got our spare tire cover reinstalled, we've completed the installation of our four pole connector to hold it down to our new hitch. We can even use the manufacturer supplied hold down loop to it to our hitch. We have completed the installation part number 118427 a T1 connector by Toe Ready.